Hello, everybody. FXK Bros. It's so over. My channel is... <laughs> Oh my god, it's dying. I need it's please help me. Who would have thought that I show speeds wiggly <laughs> floppy meat would, would get so many people to unsubscribe? I really thought you'd like that one. Sorry guys, I forgot that you only want me to upload content that makes me completely miserable. Well, you know what? Fine. I can you win. All right, I'll give you what you want. Uh, episode whatever of the Warp Minds Warp Tour starting right now. Okay, you ready? Hey guys. Ian Watkins is a bad person. Give me those views. Give me that AdSense. We are so back. Moving forward, alternative music content only. These fat stack of racks do not lie. All right, next video is going to be uh, reacting to metalcore reaction channels. And what better time to sell out because one of my most popular videos is about a man named Ronald Entertainment Radke, who's been getting into a whole heck of a lot of controversies lately. That video I'm referring to is called Ronnie Radke, Correcting the Narrative. You should watch it and give me your money. This was the most controversial video I I've ever uploaded because seemingly every single person who watched it had a problem with it. If you don't know who Ronnie Radke is, he's essentially one of the most popular vocalists in the rock, metal, and alternative music scene. Ronnie is the lead singer of a band called Falling in Reverse, and they're like pretty much one of the biggest bands in the scene. They're selling out arenas all the time, and the only other like modern band that does that is Bring Me the Horizon. So that's pretty good company. But along with Ronnie's success came many negatives. All of these things I talk about in my Correcting the Narrative video. In this video, I wanted to set the record straight. Allegations of Ronnie being a murderer, as well as allegations of sexual and domestic abuse have plagued Ronnie's entire career. In this video, I was able to prove that Ronnie did not murder anybody, he was just a witness for a murder. I also hope I made this clear in the video, but I never sought out to disprove that he's an abuser. Mainly because I don't really know if that's true. However, I did engage with the stories that are publicly available, and I essentially came to the conclusion that there's not a whole lot of evidence to back them up. On top of that, all of these stories and allegations went through the legal system, and Ronnie came out of it a free man. Because if somebody's at the mercy of the legal system and they follow through with whatever punishment that authority decides, um, it's not really the responsibility of anybody to pass judgment or punishment onto them, especially if it's coming from people on Twitter. Um, I also want to make it clear that if you have watched the video, I'm not really backing down from any of those positions I just mentioned. As far as the section where I discuss Ronnie's alleged bigotry, uh, my position has changed slightly, I'll be honest. However, I do believe that the method of engagement for dealing with his bigotry uh, is the same. If you believe Ronnie is transphobic, uh, calling him a transphobe is probably the least effective way to change his mind. Once again, you should definitely watch this video. Uh, number one, because it gives you a lot more context and it'll help you understand this video easier, but also it gives me more money. Buy my merch. Link in the description for... Do I have to keep doing- do you guys like this bit? I don't really know if I like the bit. And while you're at it, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know. What's your favorite Ronnie Radke lyric? For me, it's either shitting in pampers or digital bunch of gays. I think it's actually that one. Okay, so obviously, I hope this is obvious, I'm not actually planning to continue to do alternative content. So if you want that, please unsubscribe right now because I'd rather lose a bunch of subs in bulk than uh, continue to watch my sub count bleed. I also don't really know how funny this video is going to be or how well it fits into my regular content, but I just wanted to talk about Ronnie for some time now, so I'm doing it. Also, while I was finishing the script for this, uh, Turkey Tom uploaded his own video talking about the drama that I'm going to be talking about. So... Fuck. Wait a minute, I'm noticing right now that in the background of this thumbnail, that's my fucking video! That is my video! That's it, Tom. I am going to claim your video and get all of the revenue now, because that is how copyright works. So one of the main reasons I wanted to make another video about Ronnie Radke is because my Ronnie video was huge and I did promise to make a follow-up video to it. This video was so huge, in fact, that Ronnie himself saw the video and co-signed it. He uh, retweeted it on Twitter. Also, it's still one of my best performing videos, despite it being like months old at this point. But the main reason I felt inspired to make this video is because I, I've actually been criticizing Ronnie a lot lately for his recent actions, um, which by the way, his uh, his fans are really pissed at me about that. The first thing I want to talk about is I wanted like correct the narrative on my correcting the narrative video. This video was not a full on defense of Ronnie Radke. Anyone operating in good faith would have seen this. I make this fact very clear in the beginning and the end of the video. Also at one point in the video, I edit in a section to add more context and make Ronnie look worse. So I didn't make this video because I'm a Ronnie fanboy that wants to do everything in his power to protect him. I made this video because it really upsets me how often false narratives about Ronnie are spread. And I make every video with the intent of being honest and having integrity. I'm not here to save Ronnie. I'm here to tell the truth. Also, despite how you feel, I very clearly disagreed with Ronnie's at the time public takes on the trans movement. Now, obviously there were people who were bitching and moaning at me for 
being biased and running defense for Ronnie. But what was also strange about it was there was tons of people who were fans of Ronnie um, who didn't seem to like the video for my objective takes. Uh, they just liked it because I stood up for Ronnie. Let's make this clear. I did not make this video to stand up for Ronnie, okay? I, I like his music, but I'm not like a fanboy. I made this video because there are so many people online that are just they're just fucking lying about him and that's like really annoying. I hate when people run with narratives that aren't true and especially when people speak with authority on things they know nothing about. It really, it's like a pet peeve of mine. And on top of that, it was a video that no one had made before. It was something I was interested in subject wise and so I had so many reasons to make the video and I did. Seeing people leave comments in that video saying, Ronnie is a good person and he's done nothing wrong. I strongly disagree with those comments, and it's not because I think he is a bad person, I just, I don't know Ronnie at all. I don't feel comfortable saying whether or not he is a good or bad person. There is an insane amount of cognitive dissonance from both sides of this argument. Because not only are there a bunch of fans that just genuinely don't understand the point of the video and think that I am just a Ronnie fanboy, but there's also a bunch of people with preconceived biases calling me biased. It, it's like it's like Shakespeare levels of dramatic irony. I also just wanna make this clear real quick. If you disagree with the bigotry section of that video, that's totally fine. Whether you think my ideology is inaccurate or my assessments of Ronnie's ideology is inaccurate, I don't really care. I also want to make it clear, I reached out to Ronnie on Twitter offering to have a good faith discussion with him on trans issues. Ronnie liked the tweet. He, he saw it, by the way. Obviously, this conversation didn't happen. I didn't really expect it to. In fact, I didn't even think he was going to see the tweet. But the reason that I posted this tweet was because I wanted him to see that there were people like me, people who are reasonable and disagree with him that are willing to have a good faith discussion with him about the things that he has problems with. And it's fine that he didn't have interest in having a discussion. He is a super busy dude. I didn't expect him to actually talk to me. It was just like, a, you know, a, a, an act of good faith towards him. Obviously, the last video I did on Ronnie Radke had to be somewhat political because that is a big part of like why people don't like Ronnie Radke. But I hope that shows uh, to all of you that did have a problem with my bigotry section in that video that, um, you know, I agree acknowledge what Ronnie is saying and I actively work towards correcting the things that I think are wrong. I just want to make that clear. Also, holy fuck guys, I, stop writing paragraphs in my fucking comment section. I'm not going to fucking read these. If you disagree with the things I say, make a fucking video about it. I don't care. I genuinely don't care. I don't have time to read the same essay over and over and over about like, how I don't understand non-binary and blah, 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 blah. I want to make it clear. I've talked to more non-binary people and gender non-conforming people since I've made that video. Some opinions have changed. Some haven't. So shut up. And much like that, I don't need to hear your fucking diatribe about how, like, the West has fallen and common sense has gone out the window and we live in a society, okay? I've heard like 20 other sunglass wearing boomers say the same shit online, all right? You're not breaking any ground here. I think you're stupid too. Shut the fuck up. It's weird too, because ultimately my opinions on the issues themselves or like whether or not Ronnie is or isn't transphobic doesn't matter at all. The point I wanted to get across in that section is that you need to honestly engage with the things that Ronnie is saying rather than just crying about how he's transphobic. When I was less accepting of trans people a few years back, things like that only dug me deeper into my uninformed position. It wasn't until I heard reasonable takes that I changed my mind. Once again, this debate with Destiny, uh, it completely shifted my ideology. I can't recommend this video enough. I know some of you probably don't like Destiny, but just watch it, even if you already support trans people. Like, this is a really great video, and it will be linked in the description. Other than that, I stand by the video. Ronnie feeds on negative attention online, but he also digs himself into holes that are optically really bad for him. If you want to say that Ronnie's presence online, or even as a celebrity, is harmful, you kind of have to admit that it has nothing to do with murder or physical abuse, because these seem to be things that Ronnie hasn't engaged with in a really long time, or potentially ever, as far as we know at least. Currently, the only thing that I talked about in that video that Ronnie still actively engages with is his alleged bigotry. If you don't want the stuff that Ronnie says to be platformed, that's totally fine, but if you don't know how to engage with it, you should probably just shut the fuck up. Because Ronnie Radke has flourished off of negative attention and press his entire career. He's one of the most 
hated people in the music industry, and he sells out arenas and gets millions of streams. That was the point of the entire video. Many failed to understand this, but shout out to the people that did understand this. Do not give him attention and think that will solve your problem, because it hasn't worked for the last like fucking 15 years. Anyways, once again, I've never pledged my unrelenting support to Ronnie. If Ronnie did something despicable right in front of my eyes, I would not support that. And recently, Ronnie has done something that I do strongly disagree with. So all of this starts with a YouTuber by the name of Brad Taste and Music. I want to start off by saying, like, I'm not really a big fan of Brad Taste and Music, like, at all. Um, he doesn't speak very intelligently. He's not very funny or interesting. And he, he has a very surface-level understanding of music, which, to be fair... That's kind of the standard for music review channels, so I mean. Brad has had a very long-lasting disdain for Ronnie Radke's music and his personality, which, both of which I understand. If you think Ronnie's music and lyrics are corny, like, that's something I can understand. If you think Ronnie's personality is too abrasive for your liking, that's also something that makes a lot of sense. Brad would make plenty of extremely critical and, in my opinion, bad faith videos critiquing Ronnie's music. I think that's totally fine, by the way. If you want to sit in front of your camera and spew incoherent bullshit, like, that's totally cool with me. I do it all the time. But apparently, Ronnie disagrees. Like I said, Ronnie and Brad have had a long back and forth, specifically over Twitter. Now, why a super successful and talented musician is uh, getting upset over what some crackhead on Twitter says is beyond me. Recently, Brad uploaded screenshots to his Twitter showing Ronnie in his DMs, essentially gloating because he got some of his videos taken down that features his music. Brad has a series, I think it's called uh, Cringe the Album, and Epitaph, uh, his record label, took all of them down. And as you can see from the screenshot here, it says, ha 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 ha, damn dude, what's gonna happen if you get everything taken down, man? What are you gonna do? Now, it's very strange that Ronnie has a problem with his music being used in other people's videos for reaction and review purposes, because there's tons of videos online of it, and they're all up. Also, you may notice that there are compilations of Ronnie reacting to people reacting to his music. He clearly has no problem with this. Unless, of course, it's Brad Taste in Music, who is pretty much known as, like, the biggest, like, Ronnie Radke detractor online. And his videos were blocked, by the way. They weren't just demonetized. They were completely blocked. Now, in a bubble, Brad's music review is getting claimed does make sense because typically if you use copyrighted music on YouTube, especially for a long period of time, it will get claimed. But other videos aren't even being treated that way. They aren't getting blocked in every country. And by the way, these videos were manually struck down by Epitaph. Why? Is it because Ronnie reached out to Epitaph and told them to do it? Because that's where my mind is going right now. And unless you find a way to convince me that Epitaph, under no influence of Ronnie, just decided to go out of their way to strike and block all of these videos, I'm feeling pretty confident in that thought process. It's also weird because Ronnie is gloating in Brad's DMs about this. Um, Brad's initial statement on this was him posting screenshots of Ronnie in his DMs. Ronnie didn't find out through Brad. He obviously, like, was notified or was, like, waiting to see. Because why else is Ronnie checking on that video being blocked? Does he go there every day? Did he just happen to search the video and find out that it was blocked before Brad did? No, he fucking did it. He he's the one that got the videos claimed, and he's trying to act like he didn't. Once again... If you don't like your music being used in this format, that's fine, but be consistent. You are within your rights to strike these videos down, but don't cherry pick the negative ones to be punished for it. It's not an issue of copyright or fair use. You just use the copyright system because Brad hurt your feelings. He even gloats at him, asking him like what he's gonna do when everything gets taken down. Like what the fuck, dude? What like what is wrong with you? You're acting like a sociopath. I don't I wouldn't miss Brad's channel. I don't even really care for Brad as a person that much but that doesn't mean i wish ill for him i don't want his shit to get wiped especially as a content creator myself like i don't want that to happen to any creator because he literally threatens to like take down all his shit like come on dude like at least be consistent if you're gonna be about all like free speech and like saying how you feel then why the fuck do you have a problem with brad doing it and the worst part is he's hiding behind the technicality that he has the right to do it which he technically does like what the fuck ronnie you're no better than these retards on twitter that get mad at you for killing somebody like come on dude. And the thing is, I'm looking at this, Ronnie doesn't even try to hide it. Oh no, now you can't make money off shit talking about me. The audacity. Fool. Made multiple videos 
talked shit, monetized it, got copyright striked, blamed me and said I'm a bad guy because he can't make money off talking shit about me. Imagine being that dense. Ronnie, you are the one being dense here. You obviously have the right to strike down these videos, but the ethics of it and the underlying intention of it is obvious to anyone with a brain. You or Epitaph don't ever strike positive reactions. Why are these any different? This is transformative content, but if you don't like the content, you're within your right to copyright strike it. The problem is, it's either all of it's okay, or none of it's okay. Which is it? And by the way, them being positive or negative doesn't morally give you the right to strike it down, no matter how mean they are to you. What upsets me the most about this whole situation is like, Ronnie, you could be the good guy here. You could make Brad look like a total fucking jerk and a loser by being like, oh, Brad, your videos got struck down? Damn, I had nothing to do with that. I, I know we don't get along, but your videos should be allowed to exist on the platform, uh, cause I'm perfectly fine with reactions. I've said it a million times. You know, let me call up Epitaph right now and tell him to reverse the claims, cause you deserve it. But no, you are being the bad guy when you don't have to be. Like, I believe that Ronnie can be better, and it really frustrates me that he always seems to take the low road. And the worst part about it is, his fan base enables him. This is another thing I kind of just like glossed over initially. Um, Ronnie's fan base is arguably just as bad as Ronnie's detractors. In fact, I made a tweet that sums this up pretty well. Ronnie Radke dick riders are terrible. And the worst part is, there's two flavors of them. Number one, mindless bad faith shit talkers who use false narratives to LARP as an internet superhero and bully him. Number two, his brain dead millennial fans who scarf up every word he says, even political stuff, and repeating it without fail or second thought. I've dealt with both of these people for months now in my comments constantly. They need to get a hobby. It's so fucking cringe. The internet's engagement with Ronnie Radke is a really great example of the horseshoe theory. In popular discourse, the horseshoe theory asserts that the far left and far right, rather than being at opposite and opposing ends of a linear continuum of the political spectrum, closely resemble each other, analogous to the way that the opposite ends of a horseshoe are close together. Ronnie haters and Ronnie lovers are very, very similar. They are both hyper obsessed with Ronnie. They are constantly talking about and engaging with him on his social medias. They have no interest in understanding the nuances of any situations he's involved in. And worst of all, most of their opinions are just based on what Ronnie says. The only difference is one side is negative towards Ronnie and the other is positive. It's kind of funny how that works. Like once again, it's kind of, it's like this insane level of dramatic irony. I want to make it clear. I have no problem with Ronnie's fans or falling in reverse fans. Much like that, I don't have a problem with people that don't like Ronnie either. Either, even if you fucking hate him. I understand why you hate Ronnie. I understand why you like Ronnie. But what I do have a problem with are his dick riders. This is separate from any normal fan or hater. These people are terrible. And guess what? Brad is a dick rider too, but his videos are fair use and the only reason he was struck down is because he hurt Ronnie's feelings. And that's fucked up. I'm sorry if this video is just like kind of all over the place. Uh, when writing this script, I kind of just wrote from, you know, what came to me in the moment. I don't really feel like doing a normal outro for this video, but if you did subscribe to me from Warp Minds and you haven't checked out my recent stuff, maybe do that, you know, maybe give it a chance, maybe you'd like it, but uh, regardless, we're back to normal stuff after this, so thanks for watching, guys.